Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. Today I'm going to answer the question, what's the best type of e-bike to transport kids? Stick around. All right, so today I'm going to answer the question, what's the best type of e-bike to transport kids? But before I do, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630, be the first to know about all the new content we're doing, giveaways, and of course, new product releases. So hit subscribe. All right, seeing a lot of parents now bringing kids on e-bikes for school pickups, driving around communities, um, around town, you name it. There's a lot of e-bikes that have back areas right here. Kids are sitting in the middle, holding on to the bars, and I'm seeing up to three children on the back here. And it's great, actually. It's been a great way to decrease car trips. It's simplified a lot of school pickups because a lot of parents that, you know, would still be crowding the lots with cars have opted for e-bikes. And I think kids love it as well. As long as you practice safe uh, procedures and wear helmets, great, great thing that's popping up. Now, on the flip side, at 630, we've developed this electric bike rickshaw with an actual passenger seat on the back. And I'm going to tell you uh, why I believe to transport kids, this is actually your safest option. And in my opinion, the best if you're going to put your young children on your e-bike and ride around with them. Now, this has been the one of the most common setups you're seeing with these bars back here. And your kids, either you grab them or put them in here. Or if your kids are old enough, they can step up and get into here. Now, I will say, we I love these bikes. I personally have used it. Um, I do still use it. This is actually a 630 um, prototype that we're thinking about bringing out. And I think it's a great type of bike. Now there's a couple precautions that I've learned as I've been developing both of these products and why ultimately we're gonna put more emphasis on the electric bike rickshaw for the time being. Number one, what I found, I have a seven-year-old, a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Both can fit in here. It's a little squished. And on top of that, if they're climbing in here, my seven-year-old can climb up on her own. You gotta make sure you're holding the bike. Once she's in, somebody then, I cannot let her sit up here without somebody else placing the other children in with me holding the e-bike up. So the, the loading process and the unloading process can at times be a little bit complicated because you can't let the bike on its own. I can't have somebody climbing up here and not holding the bike. Now, some other models have different kickstands that are in the middle. For me personally, though, I need to make sure that I'm monitoring that. In addition to that, my two-year-old and my four-year-old cannot get on this bike by themselves. I have to get them over the bars and into the seat and, proper, and make sure they're properly secure in there before I'm riding. So again, when you stop and park the bike, it becomes a little cumbersome to have the bike, make sure you're bracing it, and get all the children off. Now the thing that is the most nerve wracking I would say is when you're riding. Now you are adding, let's say up to 100 pounds plus in the rear here, which the stability of these frames is never really an issue. You can see we've got lots of welding and support going on here. And for one child, it's not as big of a deal, but it's something that takes a little bit of getting used to because you've got the weight on the back and the bike's gonna move and whip in the back here a little bit differently. Also, when you stop, you need to make sure that you get your feet down because if not, the bike can more easily tip over. So you just have to be pre prepared to manage that weight up here. I'm a very experienced rider. For me, it's actually not that big of a deal, but it does take some getting used to. And I don't think it's for everyone, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, so the, the weight, can, can tend to be uh, an issue. And that's true actually, even if you have a lot of weight in a basket or you have a load back here, right? If something's in the front or the center, throwing the weight off that drastically, it can be alarming. The other thing is if the kids are moving around, I've had my daughter back here, she starts you know, playing games or waving to people and moving her arms around, you're gonna feel that as the driver of the bike. It's just something to be aware of. Um, and unfortunately, there's no training required to you know, ride an e-bike with a passenger, I, I believe there actually should be. It's kind of like motorcycles. One of the things when you get a motorcycle permit you're not allowed to do is carry passengers while you're learning to ride. And you also can't ride at night. 
There's no reason that an e-bike's actually less dangerous than a motorcycle. Um, there's just no required training as of now. Uh, I love e-bikes, I want there to be more of them, but I think there's specific situations where it would be helpful for everybody to just get a little more training, especially how to deal with the weight transfer of a passenger. Um, I actually do have a motorcycle license, so I went through that training, and I will say it's something you have to get used to and learn. And with e-bikes going 20 miles an hour, in a lot of sense, it's really no different uh, than a motorcycle, especially because you can use a throttle and not pedal at all. So mounting and dismounting is a little cumbersome. The riding can be a little bit cumbersome. The stopping can be cumbersome, and then because you have all of the weight back here. Now, flipping over to the electric bike rickshaw, and what we've done here at 630 is we've taken an electric trike, barely added anything to the length here at all. This is basically like a typical trike. And actually, if I measure these two products, which we'll do that here in a minute, we're gonna see, and I'll bet you the length actually isn't that much different. Now, the huge benefit here, obviously, three wheels. So this thing's never gonna be unbalanced, right? Even if it feels you can feel the weight in the back, which when you drive this course, you can feel that weight, right? And you have to just get used to turning, but there's gonna be no fear of your kids falling out. Now, some people say with tricycles, uh, there's a tipping, a tipping risk, but with the way we've engineered this, we've nearly eliminated that. You have a 20 inch, four inch, 20 inch high, four inch fat tire in the, in the rear and a 26 inch, uh, tw or 24 inch, in the front, sorry, 20 inch in the rear, 24 inch in the front. So it's gonna be set lower to the ground in the back, which means it's gonna be more stable, and you also have the four inch tires to create more stability. Your kids, even my two year old, can get onto here, climb in and out, and you have a seatbelt. Something to actually strap them in. If, if worst case, you know, something happens, they're gonna be strapped in back here. Again, on some of these with the, the bars, now if you add, the, uh, the seats, you can add the baby, the child seats to attach those. That's gonna make that a little more safer versus just having them sit with the bars like that. But your bigger kids aren't gonna fit in the, trail, the child seats. The child seats are usually only good to about up to two years old. And I see a lot of kids over two. So if you can put them in the child seat on that model, it's gonna be much safer. If your child's too big, you can put them on this bench sit. Now this is gonna fit three, up to three children safely. I can have my three kids sitting in here side by side, all with a seatbelt. And again, when I mount and dismount, there's no risk that it's tipping. Uh, there's no risk of anybody falling out. And when I stop, I just stop. And if I need to help them, I can get out. So I personally, if you're looking for something to transport your kids, I much prefer the electric bike rickshaw. It's a safer way of doing it. Um, and it's actually easier for the children than the cargo setup with the bars in the back. So I'm gonna grab a tape measure and we'll measure the lengths and we'll see how they compare. Okay, so let's just do a quick measurement and I'll show you. So this is just for storage purposes. The length of this is 68. And the tricycle with the seat is actually 73. So it's only five inches longer than this cargo bike. Now it looks like a lot more bike, obviously, because you have the seat back here, but it's really not, um, which is cool. And in my opinion, a safer mode of transportation for your children. So if you have any other questions at all about transporting your kids on e-bikes, comment below or email us the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And this electric rickshaw is available on our website right now, 630.com, check it out. Our cargo kids on the back still in development, but check back, uh, this is something maybe we're hoping to bring out later, 2023 or 2024. And if you're in the market for an e-bike, don't know what you want, take our proprietary body fit quiz answer a few questions about your body and your life, and we'll recommend the perfect e-bike or bike for you. And we have a 30-day test ride your bike policy. If you don't love it in 30 days, send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. And lastly, join our Facebook Peddlers group and download our app. Two great places to connect with the riders, six reserve riders before you purchase, and after you purchase, great places to track your rides on the app, compete on the leaderboard, and of course, make new friends in the Peddlers group. 
So thank you for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey, your experience, enjoy the ride.